Welcome back to the Crypto Bar channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, while both Bitcoin and Ethereum are still playing out these short-term patterns, we are seeing an important signal flash right now that we need to pay attention to. So I'll be talking about that in just a moment. Definitely stick around. First of all, taking a look at the US dollar index on the daily time frame, because right now the US dollar index is currently attempting a breakout above this important resistance and above this previous high. And in case you're new to all of this and you don't know what the US dollar index is, basically the US dollar index tracks the value of the US dollar against a basket of other currencies. And so essentially, if the US dollar index, also known as the DXY, is moving to the upside, that essentially means the US dollar is gaining strength relative to other assets. Whereas if the US dollar index or the DXY is moving to the downside, that means the US dollar is becoming weaker and is good news for other assets valued in US dollars. And so obviously the price of Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies out there are commonly valued against the US dollar. And so basically when the US dollar index is moving to the downside, that is actually good for the crypto market and usually other markets like the stock market as well, for example. But if the US dollar currency index is moving to the upside, that is usually bad news for crypto. And we can see this in action if we're looking at the Bitcoin chart on the daily time frame. These candlesticks right here are the Bitcoin price. And this red line right here is that DXY on the Bitcoin chart. And obviously, as you can see, basically this entire year, since around the end of 2022, the DXY has been on a larger downtrend, like how Bitcoin has been on a larger uptrend since around the end end of 2022. But throughout that larger uptrend in the price of Bitcoin and the larger downtrend in the DXY over the last one year or so, obviously we've seen multiple shorter term bullish and bearish trends. And what's very interesting is we can see a clear inverse correlation between the price of Bitcoin and the DXY. And basically an inverse correlation is when one is going to the downside, the other is doing the opposite. So going to the upside or when one is going to the upside, Side, the other is doing the exact opposite, so going to the downside. And obviously, we could see right here that this has been happening all year long in the price of Bitcoin and in the DXY. Obviously, at the end of 2022, entering into the start of this year, we saw a significant drop in the DXY in the US dollar index, which caused a massive pump in the price of Bitcoin. But then the moment the DXY hit a local low and actually reversed back to the upside, that was around the time where the price of Bitcoin slowed down its bullish price action and began a correction that lasted over the next couple of weeks during the time where the DXY was moving to the upside. But then the moment the DXY topped out, hit a local top and reversed back to the downside during that same time where the DXY was going to the downside during around March, obviously we saw a major move to the upside in the price of Bitcoin. And then once again, right around where Bitcoin topped out during around the middle of April this year, that was right around a local low in the DXY. And so as you can see here, what came next was a bullish trend, a short-term bullish trend in the DXY, which resulted in a shorter-term bearish trend in the price of Bitcoin. And then once again, around the time where the DXY topped out and reversed back to the downside, flipped more bearish again in the short term, that was right around the time where the Bitcoin price entered into more of a short-term bullish trend again. And that lasted all the way up until when the DXY XY bottomed out at another local low and reversed back to the upside, which happened around the middle of July. And right around that time where the DXY began trending back to the upside, obviously we have been seeing another short-term bearish trend here in the price of Bitcoin. And so with all of this in mind, if we're now seeing a breakout in the DXY above this previous high, as we can see here on the daily time frame on the DXY charts, once again, this is technically a bearish signal, not just for Bitcoin, but really for the overall crypto market. And if this breakout actually confirms in the DXY with daily candle closes above this resistance, which by the way, this previous high, so the top side of this resistance is sitting at around 104.7 on the DXY charts. And so once again, if we see candle closes above that level on the daily chart, then that would confirm the breakout and we could potentially move up towards these previous highs, which are sitting at around 105.6 to 105.8. 
seven. And so if you're measuring that move in the DXY, that's roughly around a 1% move to the upsides. But keep in mind, it is not a one-to-one -one negative correlation between the DXY and Bitcoin. So for example, if we're seeing a 1% move to the upside in the DXY, that does not mean we're going to see just a 1% move to the downside in the price of Bitcoin. Because for example, this entire rally so far since around the middle of July in the DXY has been around a 5% move to the upsides. But if you're measuring that same move since around the middle of July in the price of Bitcoin, that's been close to a 20% move to the downsides. And so basically, since the DXY has been trending back to the upside and the Bitcoin price has been trending to the downside over the last one and a half months or so, for every 1% the DXY moves to the upside, we see roughly around a 4% drop in the price of Bitcoin. And so basically, if this breakout confirms in the DXY and heads up towards this next resistance, towards these previous highs, then in that case, we could likely see at least around a 4% drop in the price of Bitcoin, which from the current price at the time of recording this video could take us down towards roughly around 24 and a half thousand. And so essentially, that would put Bitcoin right at around this previous low that we saw back during around the middle of June. And so once again, while while the DXY is still currently trending to the upside on the daily time frame, this is simply bearish for the price of Bitcoin at the very least in the shorter term trend. And not to mention right now, of course, we are in September, which historically speaking is one of Bitcoin's more bearish months. And so this is why I've been saying for a while now on this channel, warning over and over again, that we're likely going to see some bearish price action in the somewhat shorter term, talking about most likely over September. And then potentially as we move into October, we could see some bullish price action in October because historically speaking, October is a much more bullish month. But anyway, with that being said, taking a look at this daily Bitcoin chart and right now the price of Bitcoin is still trading above this important area of support sitting in between around 24.3k to 25.3k. And as for the daily Bitcoin price oscillators, right now the daily Bitcoin MACD is still showing very low momentum while the daily Bitcoin RSI is still technically within a bearish trend, forming lower highs and lower lows. And so once again, overall, in terms of the short-term trend, we are still technically more bearish than bullish, but it is worth pointing out that we are possibly forming a bullish divergence here on the daily time frame. but at least as of right now, that potential bullish divergence on the daily chart is not yet confirmed. But what is confirmed is if you zoom into the six hour Bitcoin chart, a shorter term bullish divergence pattern confirmed just a few days ago. And since then, we have seen reduced bearish momentum just in the imminent short term, as in over the last few days, in the form of mostly choppy sideways price action. And as always, choppy sideways price action or a slight bullish reversal, those two outcomes are essentially the most common outcomes from a bullish divergence. But considering the fact that this is only on the small smaller timeframes like the six hour chart, this is likely only going to result in a bit of a pause from the bearish trend. And so essentially, even though we have an active bullish divergence on the six hour chart, I would not necessarily expect a massive bullish reversal on the daily chart based on this bullish divergence alone. And also something to consider is of course the point of invalidation for this bullish divergence, which would simply be either a lower low in the price below these previous candle closes, or if we see a breakdown in the six hour Bitcoin RSI below this ascending line of support or below this previous low right here, forming a new lower low. Because obviously, if that happens, if we have lower lows in the RSI and lower lows in the price, we have no bullish divergence at all. And as for short term support and resistance, looking at the Bitcoin order books across multiple exchanges, right now we have a decent amount of buy orders in between around 25.2k to 25.3k. And we have another group of buy orders at around $25,000 per Bitcoin. And so basically, we should expect a bit of short-term support around those price levels. And as for resistance, looking at the sell orders, we have a decent amount of sell orders in between around 26.1K to 26.3K. And so once again, in that price area right there, we should expect a bit of short-term resistance for the price of Bitcoin. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, the price of 
ETH is on the edge of potentially breaking to the downside below this important area of support, sitting in between around 1620 to 1660. And this area of support is simply based on these previous lows and also this volume profile indicator. And as you can see in the volume profile indicator and also the fact that we have a lack of previous lows in this area, if we do end up seeing a confirmed break below 1620 approximately, then in that case, we really have a lack of support immediately to the downside. So we could likely see a fairly quick move to the downside if this support breaks. And as for the daily Ethereum price oscillators, right now, the daily Ethereum MACD is still currently showing very low momentum, while the daily Ethereum RSI is technically still in a downtrend forming lower highs and lower lows. But just in the shorter term in the daily Ethereum RSI, we are potentially forming a bullish divergence, which is something to pay attention to. But at least as of right now, that potential bullish divergence on the daily timeframe is not yet confirmed. And so once again, as I've been saying for a while now on this channel, at least the shorter term trend is still currently more bearish than bullish. And if this trend continues after this pause that we're currently seeing in the imminent short term with a break below around 1620, then in that case, the next important support is the 50% retracement level at around 15 10 to 1520. And below that level, we have the important golden pocket sitting in between around 1360 to 1.4K. And if you're zooming into the shorter term, looking at the six hour ETH to US dollar chart, technically speaking, this small bullish divergence is still currently active because at least as of right now, the six hour Ethereum RSI is still currently holding above this ascending line of support forming higher lows. But once again, as I've said in recent videos here on the channel, and as I said earlier, Earlier in this video for Bitcoin, if we see a breakdown in the RSI below this ascending line of support, or if we simply see lower lows in the RSI or lower lows in the price, then those signals can help to invalidate this short-term bullish divergence. But either way, even while this bullish divergence is active, once again, all this really means is right now we're just taking a small pause from that bearish trend on the daily time frame. But if you want to know how to make a lot of money in crypto, no matter if the price is bullish, bearish, or simply chopping around sideways in the short term like right now, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is bullish or bearish using AI, and the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.